200 years ago, this Napoleonic fort was built in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean to protect France from invasion. Now it is home to a new kind of battle. Six teams of modern day warriors are facing one another in a tournament that tests wit, strength, and courage. But who will emerge victorious? Will it be one of the teams on today's Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge? Are you ready for this? Hello everyone and welcome to Fort Boyard. Once again, two teams are on their way to face a set of awesome challenges with the aim of earning enough points to get them into the grand final. Those teams don't know what tests are ahead of them, but the one thing they do know is they're up against the clock and they're gonna need all the strength they've got to make it to the very end. That's right, Laura. So let's meet today's team. We are the Yellow Scorpions and we are here to win. I will definitely step up when my team needs me. I'd say my main strength is my height and also my speed. We're gonna take the fort by storm and we're gonna win the competition. Our team will definitely be able to take on whatever we are asked. Competitively, on a scale of one to 10, I'm a solid 11. I don't lose very often, but I'd like to think that I'm a good loser. The Green Jaguars are gonna win, end of. It's the Green Jaguars versus the Yellow Scorpions, both teams looking to add points to their leaderboard score in today's competition. for the Scorpions, how are you feeling today? Absolutely incredible. I think I can tell, actually. Wow, wow. And do you guys have any fears at all today? The Yellow Scorpions don't fear anything. All okay. Right. All right, Matt, well, how are you guys feeling today? Well, let's just say the Green Jaguars will be in the final. In the final? <laughs> yes. All right. Are you ready for battle? Yeah! Each show has five challenges where the aim is to win keys. Teams need three keys in order to get the maximum time in the treasure chamber. There, they need to collect as many coins as they can to get through to the tournament final. Let battle commence. We start today's competition with another one of the fort's toughest challenges. A bicycle is fixed upside down to a cable stretching high across the fort. Lewis will ride this bicycle across the fort, releasing three flags that will reveal the code that his team needs to open the key box. This first challenge is just for the Yellow Scorpions. High above the fortress floor, Lewis must race upside down against the clock. If there was ever a moment to conquer his fear of heights, that moment is now. Your challenge? starts now. He's off, racing against the clock, desperate to reveal the code for his team. It's going to be a really strange feeling, cycling upside down. Team Captain Lewis quickly reaches the flag and gets the first number. It's a three. For someone afraid of heights, Lewis is doing a great job hanging 60 feet above the fortress floor. Second part of the code. It's a five, and he races ahead. This is an outstanding effort. Can he untie the flag with the last two numbers? He can! Four and two. Two fast. The clock four. is ticking. Three, five, two, four. Just 10 seconds left. Come on, guys, you got it. Will they get the key? Uh -huh. Outstanding work, my man. Let's have another look at some of that action. You sit in the harness and basically your world slipped upside down. <laughs> it was a little nerve wracking letting go of the bike, kind of just going, oh, okay, and then getting ready to untie them. I did it pretty well and had a lot of fun with it. How's your head feeling? Woo! Hey, I know it's worth it because you got that key, man. That's all right. Excellent we work. We are Scorpions. Say we are Scorpions. Woo! Lewis's win gets one key for the Yellow Scorpions, giving them valuable time in that all-important treasure chamber. Now get ready for the next yeah. challenge! Come on, follow Let's me, go, come go. on! Here we are, Scorpions! So, teams, here we are at the next challenge. Are you ready? Yeah! This one is 
for both of you. Now in this room there are two sets of stirrups, one each. You've got to hook them on the hooks along the ceiling and reach the key at the far end. Who's going into the scorpions, Louis? We're going to go with Nathan on this one. Nathan, you're going to do this challenge. Yeah. Okay, step forward. And so Matt, Nathan. who's doing the challenge for you I'm guys? I'm going to take this one for the team and go on in for the challenge. Okay, good stuff. Well, I'm going to give you your helmets. There you go, Nathan. Nathan. Matt. Thank you. Hey, Matt. So guys, make your way into the room and the challenge will begin when I say. Come on, Nathan. 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 Starts now! So it's Green Jaguar Max against Yellow Scorpion Nathan. Who's going to get to that key first? <laughs> this challenge is an incredible test of both upper arm strength and coordination. Two things which seem to have given Nathan an early lead. Matt claims to have a fear of heights. They've got to keep their feet in the stirrups, guys. It looks like he's struggling slightly. And he's having some trouble now. He looks a little lost. There's only one key at the end of that room and both of them are desperate to get it. Nathan is storming along that ceiling. He's nearly there. He's making this look easy. Don't forget to bring the key with you. <gasps> well done. Great job, effort man. there, Matt. How was it? It's hard. Really hard. Really How are your hard. arms feeling? They're, they're tense. Yeah. Nathan, out you come. Oh, well done. Oh. Second key for the Scorpions. Yes. Nathan, how was that? That was incredibly tough. So what happened at the beginning? I don't know. My, when, you, when you move them, the stirrups come out of your feet. So you're hanging on one, trying to get the other one into a hook and put your foot in it. And we were both just like, oh, what, what is going on? <laughs> well, you did it. Well done. You got the second key. Yeah! Yeah! So after that extremely energetic challenge, let's have a look at the scoreboard. After Nathan's incredible victory, the Scorpions have now two treasure chamber keys, but the Jaguars still have none. There's another challenge now. So you up for it? Yeah! Come on, follow me. Fort's next challenge is one of strength and speed. Lewis and Ryan are about to scale the fortress wall using only these tiny hand grips. It's a 50-foot climb all the way up to the target where only one key awaits. The fastest climber wins. All right, gentlemen, on my mark. Your challenge starts now. Two climbers racing for one key. The only thing that stands between them and their prize is a 50-foot wall. As Lewis takes the lead, there's a lot of pressure on Ryan. Jaguars need that key. It's still pretty close, though. Lewis confidently scales the fortress wall. They're less than 15 feet away from the key, and Lewis is still in the lead. If he keeps this up, it could be three keys for the Scorpions. Ryan needs to climb hard. It's a dead heat. But Lewis has slipped. Unbelievable. This is Ryan's chance. He's got the key. Way to go, Ryan. How about that? All right. All right, guys. All right. At first, I wasn't sure where to put my hands, and it was quite tough on my hands, the rocks were and I was focusing too much on Louis. At the very top, the rocks got, on the wall got really small and tiny. So it was really hard for me to kind of grip onto him. All my team was cheering me on really well and I just thought, I've got to focus now and stop looking at him. So I just uh, powered through and got to the top. So after that challenge, let's have a look at the score. So after Ryan's lucky break, it's now two keys for the Scorpions and one for the Jaguars. Jaguars, get off it there. You ready to try and get another key? Yeah. yeah. This challenge is just for you, so follow me. Come on, guys. Yes. This is your chance to get another key. You ready for the challenge? Yeah. In this 
room there are five cylinders and the key is at the far end. So what you've got to do is pull yourself along those cylinders, grab the key and get it just before the time runs out. Now it is a little tricky because the cylinders do actually move. So Matt, your team captain, who's going to do this challenge? Oh, we have Xavier for this one. Xavier! Okay, Any good luck. Chance for the second key for you guys. Take your place at the door. And your challenge starts now. So Xavier's in for the Jaguars. This is their solo challenge. So the only thing he has to beat is the clock. You have to be really careful sliding across that candy. Take his time. Otherwise, that happens. Any sudden movement and those candy rolls will roll you onto the floor. He's off again. That's good advice. He needs to keep focused on that key and that might help him. That a better attempt. How will he do with this attempt? guys. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Come on. Technique from Xavier there. Focus on that key. Keep it slow and keep it calm. He's really focused. He's almost over the third. You got it. You got it. Good job. One minute left. One minute to get that key and bring the scores neck and neck with the Scorpions. Yep, you got it. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking really good. This is the hardest of the lot. Can he make it? Can he keep it steady? No, he can't. How's he doing for time, guys? If he stands any chance of winning this key, he's got to get a move on. You don't have that much time, Xavier. Keep All right, the time. Get him out to get him out. Come on, bang on the door and get him out. Come on, Xavier. Come bang on the door and get him out. Bang on the door and get him out. He needs to come out. Get him. There's no time for another go. He needs to get out. Get him out. Get him out. Time's out, Xavier. Good try. Good try. The candy roll challenge was the toughest thing I've had to face so far. I could feel the adrenaline going through me. I was sweaty and I was slipping everywhere. I had to try and pull myself through and I kept falling off. It was horrible, horrible challenge. Well, come on, let's give Xavier a good job. After that tricky challenge, let's have a look at the scores. No change after the candy roll. Two keys for the Scorpions and one for the Jaguars. Time for another challenge now. Chance you can win another key, okay? Yeah! Come on! Woo! Your final destination is almost upon you, but you have one more chance to win a key. The task is simple. Here we have two sets of chopsticks, small letters that each team will thread onto this small wire, spelling out the name Boyard. The team that finishes first will win the vital last key in today's competition. Jaguars, do you understand? Yes. Scorpions, do you understand? Yes. Then line them up. Which team will thread their way to victory? But more importantly, who will take away the most points from today's encounter in the legendary treasure chamber? Your challenge starts now. First letter of Boyard is B. Who's going to be first to get it? Change. It's Lewis. That's quick work from Matt as Nathan has a little bit of trouble. Started off trying to use uh, two hands and kind of pinch it like that, uh, which was probably the wrong thing to do. Should have <laughs> paid attention to the Chinese tradition because they've been doing it for a thousand years. Take, take your time. Breathe. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take, a breath. take your time. There, a new technique. Jake, Nathan's go. finally got it. Take Let's it. Go, Jake. Jake. Jaguars are ahead, but look at Ryan's hand shake. Yellow team was really far behind, and then 
it just got to me and my hands were shaking that much and it was like sideways and it just wouldn't go on at all. Ryan can't stop shaking. You got it. I thought that I wasn't going to be able to do it because I've never used chopsticks in my life before. Change. The scorpions are ahead as Lewis steps up. Ryan is really struggling now. And Lewis gets his on easily. The scorpions just need one more. Second time around, Nathan is a lot quicker. And the scorpions! Take the final last key in today's competition. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. As they head into the legendary treasure chamber, the Jaguars have only one key, but the Scorpions have a massive three. It is time for the treasure chamber. Come on, let's go! Okay, Jaguars, Scorpions, congratulations. You have arrived at the ultimate challenge. How do you feel about that? Yeah! All right, all right. Understand, this is a race to grab coins in the legendary treasure chamber. Not only that, this is a chance for you to add points to your leaderboard score. Do you understand this challenge? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you need three keys to give you the maximum amount of time of three minutes in the treasure chamber. And for every key you are short, there'll be a time penalty. So, Jaguars, how many keys have you got today? One key. One key. It's been a good team effort. Well done, guys. Now, with that one key, the whole team will have a 20-second time penalty. And as an extra penalty, one member of the team will have to wait an extra 20 seconds. OK? Scorpions, how many keys have you got? We've got three keys. Three keys. Well done, guys. All right. Thank you. So that's going to give you a full three minutes in the chamber. You're going to need these maps. Here you go. And good luck. OK, guys. Do you understand what you are up against? You are up against the clock, and you're up against grabbing as many coins as you possibly can. All right? All right. Yeah. Are you ready for this challenge? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Teams, your challenge starts now! Go, 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 go! Yes. When the gates open, our young warriors look for their Team Crest and use the maps to place the Team Crest on the right squares on the chamber floor as quickly as they can. Then they go to the tiger's head, and if they've got it right, the key to their treasure chest will drop, and they can start collecting coins. All right, guys, on the belt. Here you go. All right. Ryan, you're going to go in on the second belt. The Scorpions already have their key, and now they've got their coins. The Jaguars are way behind. They've got a lot of catching up to do. Ryan's let into the chamber, but the Scorpions are forging ahead. Finally, the Jaguars complete their map and grab their key. Now it's all about getting as many coins as they can. They're away, the Jaguars. Nice, nice, Ryan. Ryan is flying. Coins mean points in the treasure chamber, and coins equal points on the leaderboard. It's all about speed. Grab those coins and go. Grab and go. Don't be slow. Time is running out. The Jaguars are piling in the coins, but is it too little too late? Get away. They must get out before the gates close. Yes. What I'm talking about, guys, that's what I'm talking about. Let's have a look at some more of those key moves. We were to act really fast when we got into the treasure chamber. It was just a mad rush. We ran in and we all did our hardest and it was so neck and neck. It's really the longest but fastest three minutes of your life. It is time to tally the take. Let's see what you got, Jaguars. Now they only had one key. So they they had only had one key and I, I gotta say, I gotta say. Oh. oh, you want to pick those up and put those in, my man. You guys worked hard for those. That was a massive I call. would hate to see them not get counted. What? Oh, my God. That is an excellent score. score. Well excellent done, score. And now we're going to see what the Scorpions have come up with. Now, guys. You guys had the full three minutes. But do you have enough 
1,420 to be. Can they do it? the closest competitions to date, but let's have a look at the overall tournament leaderboard. After the treasure chamber, the Scorpions take second place, but with a running total of 3,020, the Jaguars go straight to the top. So until next time, it is goodbye from the mighty Fort Boyard. See you soon, bye! Join us next time when the Dragons and the White Falcons try to turn things around here on Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. The whole challenge just flew by, you know. You don't realize how fast it is until you're actually there. I think we did a good job. We are still in the lead for points, as far as I know. Everyone did an excellent job working together. I think that's really amazing what we did. I'm really proud of our team. We are Scorpions! Yeah, we are Scorpions! Yeah! Woo!